Hello my lovely brujas and welcome back to my channel. As usual, it's your girl Moki, the Pastel Bruja, aiding you on your spiritual journey. One pastel post, podcast, YouTube video, however I can get it to you at a time. And today we are here with a short unboxing. We are going to be unboxing the Moonology Manifestation deck. It is such a beautiful deck, but it's a simple deck, so it's not going to be a really long video. So we're going to crack this open and yes i started to peel the plastic so it didn't take me 50 years to unbox and let me actually raise this a little bit more so that we can see the whole box so this is a a variant of the moon oracle the moonology oracle there's a regular deck and then there's this one, which is the Manifestation Oracle cards. And I'm going to tell you the difference once we open it. So this one has a guidebook. A very thick guidebook. And it tells you how to work with the cards. It tells you about the cards. Now these cards, like I said, uh, are for... The, the moon phases and the various moon phases of the the moon phases of the moon the various phases of the moon so each card the backs had this beautiful moon artwork it's kind of giving me similar vibes to the uh work your light oracle deck and what's the other one the star seed oracle deck just with that artwork and then the cards are pretty much an affirmation for each phase of the moon and what sign it's in so let me see this video is going to be going up on the 23rd and i think then we will have had just had oh no you're, you're coming up on the new moon in virgo so let's look for that since we've got the new moon cards here new moon in taurus new moon in gemini so you see the art is really pretty cancer leo virgo so we got the new moon in virgo card here it says trust all will be well so let's just go to that chunky guidebook and see what it says about the new moon in virgo now Okay, yeah, I'm gonna say I don't know if they're broke. The guidebook is separated by the the zodiac or the phases, but it looks like it's the the phases. So we have the new moon in Virgo. It tells you a little. Says sometimes you want to be every. We want everything to happen yesterday, but divine timing is a real thing. So it gives you a little bit of insight for it. I'm gonna read. I guess I'll read the whole thing. Sometimes we need to. We need more pieces of a jigsaw to fall into place before we can get what we want. Slowing down now is the key for you to get what you want. So take your time and allow events to unfold. See what you can do for others as a really quick and easy way to both distract yourself and boost your good karma. While you wait for your dreams to manifest, there's a reason why you pulled this card. So make sure you pay attention. So these cards don't only have to be used for the uh, for the coming moon cycle or oh, the moon phase you can just shuffle them and pull one as a message that you need to hear right now so if you if this is resonating right now don't wait to embrace it until the 26th start it now so uh it also tells you a lot about the card so it says the manifesting focus is this card is an especially good sign for matters related to a job or health situation a manifesting mindset is to go out of the way to help someone helping boosts karma be reliable don't overthink things and be modest manifesting tips for stepping into divine timing pull in archangel metatron wow i haven't heard that name in forever bringing back catholic school memories um metatron who works to clear away and heal any lower energies that might make you feel rushed ask him to clear your energy and the energy of wherever you are call in the planet mercury which guides virgo and ask for help with reasoning and accepting divine timing your manifestation affirmation is i help others and others help me when to manifest the magic which i like that that's there the best time to work your magic is when the moon is in virgo 
on a Wednesday, Mercury's day, or during Mercury's hour, which you can see on page 16. The new moon in Virgo takes place when the sun and, and the moon are on the same degree in Gemini and knows what and knows what goes around comes around. Is that the last of this? Yes. So let's go back to that page 16 really quick so we can just see more of what they give you. So we do see planetary days here. And I'm assuming we're going to have hours. Yes, planetary hours. And then also blessing the cards. So I usually do a cleanse after I do an unboxing just to cleanse them. But I love the artwork. This is very pastel Bruja vibes. The purples, the pinks, just all. Look at that full moon in Leo. Oh my gosh, that's such a pretty card. It's so, it's a pretty, ooh. The full moon ones are super pretty. Let's see, wait. My Libra self wants to see full moon and Libra. Oh, right here. Ooh. So they're very pretty. I love the cards. Let's, let me shuffle. I don't expect them to be very like shuffleable. I know that's not a word, but I say it here all the time. Eh, I will give them a six. I know I have small hands, so it's hard for me to shuffle cards that are like this size. So I always feel like I rate these size cards a little bit lower. And it's also the cardstock. It's not that glossy cardstock, uh, card so they do stick and get stuck a little bit. But there's, it's such a beautiful deck, and honestly, it's not as bad as it could be. So I'm going to give it a 6.5. But the deck's artwork, I'm giving it a 10 out of 10. It's so pretty. So let me know if this is a deck you will be adding to your collection. I told you this was going to be a little short video because it's not an extensive tarot deck. It's more of an oracle where you go with the flow. I got mine with Pressed. I will link it in the description. I got mine at Pressed, rather. I'll link it in the description. I will also share the Amazon link if I can find this deck on there. And like I said, like this video if you liked it. Make sure you subscribe if you want to see more unboxings and more videos like this. And make sure you stick around yeah so most importantly as usual stay beautiful keep shining i will see y'all throughout the week on all of my other social media platforms and i will see y'all back here at some point during the week as well and i love y'all stay beautiful keep shining and i will see y'all next time bye